to the Trump presidency and Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, joins us now. Margaret, good to see you. So we want to start with the impeachment inquiry, the House passing the rules for it yesterday. What does that mean going forward? Yes. Well, things have moved pretty quickly in the past five weeks. We're now entering the public phase of this. We expect as soon as next week to start seeing transcripts and documents be handed over to the public for review. Uh, that means you'll get to read some of what was testified to under oath behind closed doors uh, during the depositions up to this point. We will also see some public hearings. We don't know the details of the start date on that just yet, but this is the portion where public opinion will be quartered in some ways uh, by certainly Democrats who are trying to build their case to have articles of impeachment voted on before uh, the Christmas holiday and for Republican defenders of the president who will perhaps try to call some of their own witnesses and cross-examine and, and make their case uh, and in a way that we haven't really had to hear them engaged before in terms of talking about the content and not just the process. Margaret, what's on the line for Democrats as they move forward with impeachment? Well, it's credibility. Uh, it is potentially um, a, a criticism, as Republicans are leveraging against them at this point, that impeachment and the decision to go ahead with this process is sucking all the oxygen up in Washington, and therefore you're unable to legislate. Of course, there's a pushback to that saying, well, where's the leadership um, from the White House? But there is a point to be made here uh, that impeachment is drawing a lot of political capital, and you aren't seeing a lot of uh, dates being announced for bills to get voted on to create laws or pass trade deals like the one the president has. So there is a political cost potentially if people back home get frustrated uh, with their representatives on this. The other side of this, of course, is the damage that this does to the credibility of defenders of the president if we see more damaging information continue to build. Right now we've seen six U.S. officials testify uh, to the existence of a deal um, whether you call it a quid pro quo or not, that put pressure on Ukraine to open an investigation into the Bidens. And Margaret, looking ahead to campaign 2020, there's a big weekend in Iowa, a New York Times poll revealing that Senator Warren mm -hmm. is leading over Bernie, uh, over Biden rather in, the, in Iowa and that Pete Buttigieg is surging ahead as Biden falls behind. Is this a surprise for the other candidates? Well, uh, it is consistent with some polling but it's that we've seen in, in recent weeks, but it is important because it's in that key state of Iowa at this moment where you are seeing Elizabeth Warren seemingly uh, have some stamina here in that first place position and perhaps worrisome for Vice President Biden, who had been the presumed front runner, who is now uh, looking at trying to raise some money to uh, build out his campaign uh, and to build on the kind of momentum that she has has uh, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, we just learned this afternoon that Beto O'Rourke is dropping out of the race. Uh, it, this is a tough thing to continue to run on, uh, particularly with such a broad race uh, and a limited amount of donor dollars at this point. So you are seeing the field whittle down. Elizabeth Warren really leading the pack at this point. And she certainly has a lot of money to continue that momentum. M Margaret, thank you very much for joining us. Join Margaret Brennan for Face the Nation Sunday. Her guest this week, House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. That's Sunday at 10.30 right here on CBS4.